Hi guys, my name is Mike, Boomerang Me founder, and today in this video I will show you how to set up the coupon card type in Boomerang Me service. First of all, let me describe you how it works and why we decided to build the coupon card in the Boomerang Me. I really deeply understand that agency owners and many business owners really need to attract new business, new clients into the business day to day and again and again. But new customers, it's a really the blood of our businesses, of course. And uh, we understand that more be many, many businesses are uh, offering the discount or rewards for a new customer for the first visit. And we decided to build the coupon card type that digitize this way. So literally what you can do, you can offer for new customers, for example, the free cup of coffee in the cafe or 15% discount on the first visit on the first purchase in the burger point, or it can be the anything else with any type of business. And moreover, if you attract the customers from the digital advertising channels like Facebook ads or Google ads, digital coupon, coupons, it's a necessary use case for adding into your existing flow because you can place the link to install the coupon card into your advertising campaign and customers who will click on your creatives can automatically fill the personal information and install the loyalty card with the discount or reward for the first visit into the business. And moreover, we start to attracting this customer from the lead and card installation step to the first purchase using our ready-made prepared push notification funnels that help to increase conversion rate between the, between the lead and first purchase up to two times. And moreover, we can convert the coupon type card into the regular type of card. For example, it can be stamps, discount, cashback, or another else. When customer redeem the coupon, imagine the situation. I found the offer in Facebook advertising about free cup of coffee with the first visit in the cafeteria or bakery, install the loyalty cards, comes to business first time, redeem my coupon and get my free cup of coffee. And my card will be automatically converted to the stamp card with the first stamp for the first purchase and give me incentive to get back to this business and collect additional stamps and get more rewards into this business. With this setup, we can help to get more paid customers from advertising and the first and convert one-time customers into the permanent from the one touch. So go ahead. After the words, we need to see how it really works. So first of all, we need to open the card section page, create a card. And here we can choose one of 111 ready-made templates for the most popular business niches in local small businesses. And for example, we can offer the coupon for the coffee shop for the 50% discount on the first cup of coffee into the business. At the first step, I suggest to change a name that coffee shop coupon, choose the coupon type of card and go ahead for the next step. On the next step on the settings page, you need to choose the main card language, set up the card expiration date. It can be unlimited term, fixed term in the future. If you want to provide the limited promotion, for example, for the end of this year and the fixed term after the card issuing can, this is the different way when you are playing with the exactly different terms for each customers. For example, you can provide the promotion for three months after a customer installed the loyalty card. Next section is locations. Here is the huge opportunity for the local business that helps to increase your retention rate up to two times and average check up to 30% by showing 
the geolocated push notifications for all your customers who install the loyalty cards and going around 100 meters of your business locations. You can create up to 10 geolocations into the for each created card template card and uh, on you can do it on the business and agency plan in our service. If you want more locations, please ask us by the intercom chat and we can add your additional locations by request. Next one, it's a crucial point for coffee shop. You can link the template of the card for the converting when your coupon will be redeemed. For example, if we want to convert coupon into the permanent card for the regular promotion, for example, it can be the stamp card, we can choose this template. In this case, it will be works like I described it before. Your customer will redeem your coupon, get reward for a first purchase, and coupon will be automatically convert into the stamp card number one with the first stamp for the first visit. And we read, we automatically transfer customer from the one time to the regular one with the regular loyalty card. So go ahead. This is the exactly reward for the first visit. It can be the discount. It can be the reward name. It can be the anything else. In my case, it will be the free coffee for a first visit. Next one, it's a card issuing form. And uh, by default, we are collecting the first name, last name, phone number, and date of birth from the customer who installed the loyalty card and the uh, fields can be required or not, unique or not, but I highly recommend to still have phone number like a unique because we still understand phone number like identifier in our database and help to avoid you get duplicates into your CRM system. So you can delete some fields, add some fields, change some fields, it's open to you at this stage. Next one, it's a UTM links where you can create different UTM links for the different distributed channels for your card. And exactly this is important for coupon card because coupon card are really designed for distribution via the Facebook ads and Google ads. And uh, I suggest to use the full Facebook UTM link, Google ads, UTM link, just for example. And for example, it's a partners. How work is how, how maybe works is partners? Obviously, we can uh, copy this link and put into the Facebook advertising like a landing page, collect this uh, link and put into the Google ads like a landing page for the customer acquisition. But uh, for example, if you want to use your additional UTM link for the additional uh, like um, um, like additional QR code and you want to place your promotion in offline, you can do it. You just need to download this file and automatically was downloaded the QR code and you can place the table tent in your partner's location. For example, if you have a nail polish salon near your coffee shop, you can place the offer for free cup of coffee in your partner's store. And also you can offer to do the same in your store for your partner. It's like a cross marketing promotion between the partners. So go ahead. Next section is a phone mask and uh, you can use the standard form mask for the card teaching form. Change the privacy policy informational here and go ahead to the design page. Here you can upload your logotype icon. You can find your uploaded icon here in the push section near the company name. You can push on this image and understand that this is exactly your uploaded image. And you can upload the background of the central part here, but right now it looks I think well, and uh, I don't want to change this image right now. You can change the colors of card background, text colors, and uh, background color of the central part. But if you use your own uploaded image for the central part, 
you can't use the background of the central part because it's it's uh, beyond your image and you can work with this. It doesn't make sense in this case. The next one is a field name and in the field name you can change the informational for the front side of the card here. For example, uh, if we run a free coffee, it's not a discount, it's a really reward for the first visit. And uh, right now we don't use in the second field, but I want to use this. And uh, it can be the reward for the first visit again, schedule it visit date and use it field and the personal data. And I want to use, for example, the personal data like a first name here. Go ahead and also I can show my uploaded logo type into the card issuing form and show background color on the card issuing form as well. Go ahead. On the information section, it's the last step of uh, your card creation journey and uh, you can fill the promotion name, company name, referral program and I highly recommend to use referral program when you're creating the card because referral program is a huge opportunity to increase your customer base without any additional cost for advertising and customer acquisition. And this, this acquisition works by your customer hands. And this is a really good opportunity. And also you can use two options to reward your referral and invitee. First of all, and this is my best option to be honest, you can reward referral in invitee only after invitee doing the first purchase into your business. But also you have an option to reward referral and invitee just after the invitee just installed the loyalty card by referral program. But I think the more convenient way reward your customers when you get additional revenue from your referral program. It's more safety way from my point of view. The next one is active links and here you can provide your uh, website phone number email address and your location address for phone number please use the full number with the phone mask and i recommend to use this uh, text for the text link and uh, for example the email address And I also suggest to use this uh, data to the text link here. Go ahead, feedback links. Uh, we are asking each customer after each transaction about quality of service. It's like a quality service control. And if customer provide the positive feedback, it's four maybe f or five uh, star review. We suggest to customer leave additional review on your maps services. For example, it can be the Google Maps, Yellow Pages, Yelp, Foursquare, Facebook. So, obviously, you should to fill the link on your company on Google Maps. Next one, it's in terms of use, and uh, you can use our Prefilled information, but this is uh, prefilled just for a sample, and I highly recommend to change this information and update with your terms and conditions. And if you have a full terms and conditions on your website, I recommend to put this link here, and we will redirect your customers to your website to learn more about your promotional terms. And the last one, it's a company information for customer who need the support by your promotion. And uh, all set. We already created the new coupon card that automatically will be converted to the stamp card number one when customer will redeem this coupon. And coupon provide the free cup of coffee for the new customers into the new coffee shop. Right now, this is the right way to scan the QR code and install the coupon to your phone 
to understand how it looks like. And maybe you need to make some changes before you will activate the card. And now you can install just up to 10 cards, and just for example, just for preview on your devices. And right now you can change anything on your card, even a card type, even a card design, even a card promotional information here. All is open right now. But after your re after all editings made and after you're ready to issue this card to all your customers, this is the right time to activate your card, but you need to know that after activation, you can't change the card type, loyalty program terms, card expiration date, and the card issuing form details. And if all is good, let's play. And download the promotional information, prepare it in PDF format, and prepare it for A5 or A4 printed format. You just need to download this PDF file, put into the printer and uh, place the table tent on your business location near the cashier zone. And all set, we already created the coupon card that already connected with the template of the stamp card. And we can get this link and uh, copy this link to the, your Facebook and Google advertising and attract more customers and much better instead of classical way. Thank you for watching this video and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.